Recent advances in machine translation emphasize the importance of language technology for the web. These changes spotlight the ever-increasing need for proper and useful metadata for content processing. The metadata offered by ITS 2.0 addresses the black box problem created by gaps in the chain of content processing and consumption on the web. In this video tutorial, we'll see how ITS 2.0 can support a real-time multilingual publication system in processing information in a more efficient way and to carry out certain actions automatically. The systems used will be the following. Atlas Real-Time from LinguaServe, Rule-Based Machine Translation with Lucy Language Technology from Lucy Software, and the Matrix Statistical Machine Translation System from Dublin City University. The Spanish Tax Agency has also taken part in this use case by migrating to HTML5 and annotating its content with ITS 2.0 metadata. This annotation was a combination of manual, automatic, and semi-automatic processes. A version of their homepage can be accessed at http colon slash slash its2demo.aeat.es. The primary metadata categories used in this demo are translate, domain, language information, localization note, localization quality issue, and provenance. Among the benefits we find in using ITS 2.0 are the following. Information about what should be translated and information about language pair selection using the translate and language information data categories. Access to the specific terminology to use in machine translation by using the domain data category for disambiguation purposes. Activation rules for machine translation post-editing with localization note. Quality aspects can be reported to the translation consumer or post editor with localization quality issue. An identification of various agents with provenance resulting in better traceability and audit capabilities. As you can see in this page's code, it has been annotated with ITS 2.0 metadata like translate, domain, or localization note. In order to process these items, we will use Atlas RT a reverse proxy that supports real-time multilingual publication through the Internet and that allows users to navigate a website in a completely transparent way. Here we use the Atlas RT administration control via a browser. Administrator credentials are required to create and manage an Atlas RT project. Atlas RT allows the system to receive requests from different subject fields known as domains, and to configure pre- and processing filters. On the configuration page's main screen, we can select whether we want to process ITS or not, and select different MT systems such as Matrix or Lucy. First, let's load the same page without processing ITS. As you can see, it translates the word Bienvenido, welcome, when it actually should not. Before continuing, we must activate the ITS engine in order to process the metadata for it to work. Now let's load the same page. As you can see now, the word Bienvenido is not translated. The Lang attribute was updated, and you can now read in the provenance metadata that the MT tool that performed the translation is Lucy Engine 6.9. Some of the metadata previously described can be used to support the post editor by supplying context information or by providing direct warnings. For instance, using Star Transit as a computer assisted translation tool, we can see this note in the segments file. Stands for Declaración Tributaria Especial. Use acronym in target language. This note suggests that the post editor use an appropriate acronym in the target language. As we can see in this use case, ITS provides promising opportunities for different sectors to move forward in the field of multilingual information and communication technological innovation. These opportunities help support economic growth and quality of life in Europe. Apart from more obvious applications of the present use case, like corporate news and publications, we see other strong possibilities for small and medium companies, e-commerce, Web 2.0 and Web 3.0 sites, online public sector services, 
complex back office websites, and new jobs for young translators. We also see real advantages such as lower translation and management costs, non-invasive technology, real-time or fast post-editing, lowered requirements for internal technological expertise, and technologies that are independent of the content source. For more information on ITS 2.0, please see the other videos at our YouTube channel. Thank you. Le long de longues files en attente Non, je n'aime pas trop quand ça dure Alors je passe, je frotte le temps